So we do use a project management tool that helps us guide the entire process. We use it for a number of different areas, but content quite specifically. So that tool helps us um, consolidate everything, assign proper workflows and proper checkpoints. And those checkpoints will include things like starting off with SEO, starting off or making sure that we're including a review of brand and positioning. And that's a key one, especially as we do have a number of different teams that are developing content, who's really owning the consolidation and, and making sure that we are speaking in the same voice and same tone. And sometimes it could be as simple as, do you remember to use the right trademarks? Or are you using the right branding for a hyphen here versus no hyphen? It could be as simple as that, or it could be much broader. Um, but I would say like making sure that you have um, a uh, system that can manage that for you simplifies the process and makes it so much more clear for everybody. It outlines who's responsible for what, what stage they're going to be getting it, and what kind of delivery time do they have for it. And then it also helps with the resource allocation overall, right? Um, especially through our website redesign, it was pretty easy to understand just the volume what that was hitting one specific team as a result of that, which otherwise it's easy to think, yes, it's just one quick review, but you know, when they've got hundred different pieces of content to review, it's not that small. So um, I would say that that's really critical. And then as well, making sure that you have for content development, also the actual content offering process, leveraging what's within your CMS to enable that. Um, is also really important. One of the critical pieces of technology that we put into place was uh, um, an asset management system. So before we had that, all our marketing materials were all over. So putting in place that dam was really critical in that it just allowed us to see everything that we had. Um, the other thing too is it allowed us to then be more consistent with our branding. Um, you know, Snehal mentioned making sure, you know, the right trademarking, the right reviews are coming into place. The nice thing with the dam was that it also gave us an approval flow. It, it, it allows us to see what, what comments all the different departments have. And that also helps it have that buy-in and understanding across the different groups. So similar to Cycle, we do have a lot of materials that need regulatory review. Well, it's really easy to get their, their feedback when I can see it, you know, business put in their, their comments, R&D, et cetera, so that when we get to the end, we know that this content is ready and you can just reuse that however many ways you want. And then just, just one more call out for, for the dam um, that, you know, people who are thinking about creating or getting a digital asset management system is that you need to align all the different groups that need to use this thing and show them that it is beneficial for everybody. It is something that everyone can leverage because one of the things that, you know, when we first started on this journey is, you know, people were used to just doing things on their own. And now you're coming at them with, now it has to go through this review. And of course, the, the first thing people think of is, oh, okay, well, great. That's going to take so much time, et cetera, et cetera. But you really just have to, to show them that, A, it's worth the wait. And the timeframes for the review, you know, are reasonable and, you know, flexible. And really the, the end goal is to make something that's, you know, that's really top notch um, and, and just making sure that people understand that.